M0FXB, welcome back to the channel. This is the VGC N76 and can be controlled using an app called HT on Android and iOS, but today we're using Android. The N76 is a GPS, APRS, VHF, UHF, 5 watt transceiver with a full keypad and Bluetooth. There is a really nice Bluetooth microphone that will pair with the handheld and with the, the smartphones. At the moment, the handheld, the N76, is connected to my Hubnet node, which is, in, which is in this room, but it could be a repeater. It's all depending on, you know, if you're near a repeater, you're going to be able to access it quite easily with your rubber duck or you could put an external antenna on, or, or you could buy the this version, the VRN7500, which is basically a 50 watt version of this. So if I just briefly press the walkie talkie, just a quick, and I've got it on audio test mode. Test, 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 okay? And it's gonna, it's gonna activate the sort of test, the test version of, the, of Hubnet. You can hear me saying test, test, test as I talk into that. Now, we're hearing it via this Android phone, which is logged into the same app called HT, but via the internet. Now, the app on this Android phone is connected to this device via Bluetooth. So you can see there we've got a couple of stations. We don't have to just monitor Hubnet. We could monitor GB3WR. So if I swipe across here and select that we're connected to the N76. These are our channels, basically. We put it in dual channel and we can hit scan and it will just start scanning for activity. And if one of those repeaters that we've pre-programmed is busy, we'll hear it and we'll actually hear it on this, on this walk, on this internet linked one, but we'll only hear it on the channel that this has been linked to because you create basically an internet channel. You've got your normal channels, no different than any other ham radio, but then you've got channels that you have created that you have linked to the internet. And when you go to the HT app and you log into those particular channels, they're linked and then you can hear them anywhere in the world. You don't have to be here in the room or, or anywhere in there. You could be in Australia and you could activate either this device, the N7500, or the walkie-talkie because the internet's doing the work for you. So how do you set this up? First thing is go to HT and download the app on both your devices, create an account and log into your account, okay? HT, and, that, and then once you've done that, you're gonna need to pair your N76. So you would just turn on Bluetooth in the normal way, turn on your Bluetooth and just close that down. If you swipe across here, these are all the different devices that I've connected to the N76, the N7500, but we've also got the internet channels. So if you notice here, we've got an internet channel called Hubnet 22. So effectively, you have to create two channels. First one, we'll swipe across, and then we'll go to the bottom of the list here, and it says, join network channel. We're gonna click join, and then we're gonna go create new channel. And we'll give it a title. I know the other one was called Hubnet 22. We'll call this one Hub 33. Okay, and we need to give it a code. Okay, uh, 2626. There, I'll give it that code for now. And then you've got radio configuration. Click plus, and we're going to put in the radio that I'm using. It's 4345500. Zero, zero, zero. Okay. And we'll click more, and then the tone on transmit is 77. Okay, save. So we've, we've created that channel. Now we'll go back to our N76, which we paired at the beginning, N76. And if I just unbind that channel, so we go to Hubnet. So you can create any channel here. Let's, should we do a brand new one? Let's do a brand new one. So we'll do S22 here. We'll hold it down and then we'll go edit channel. So we can put in the frequency title, we're gonna change it now to hub net hub, we'll just call it hub three, hub three, frequency four, three, four, oh, delete that first, four, three, four, five, five, zero, zero. Click okay, and then let's go keep going. Where's that gone? 
go to more simplex frequency ctcss is 77 and i think that's all we need to do and then save i've created the channel down here hub 3 now let's hold it and we want to bind it to that internet channel that we just made so we go bind channel and we created hub 33 click that so we've now connected the internet channel to the analog channel which is this device here now it's really important that the the phone or the app that you have connected to the radio is in relay mode otherwise it won't work so hold down your finger on that channel again on the one we just did hold it down and you want to turn on relay mode it's really important that's very crucial well, it just won't work sync radio that's done so we've now linked those channels and what i'll do i'll keep it in single channel i, I don't want it to scan keep it in single channel so we're on hub three and it automatically starts to show you this that took me to hub three as we change channel watch the radio it's changing to all the channels that we've created okay and that one looks like it had activity that one turn it up There's someone there yeah but we're going to go to the hub three the internet channel that we just created then you go to any other smartphone, download exactly the same app and log in. But this time, when you join a channel, you're going to join the channel that you called Hub3, the internet channel. So it says here, look, join channel. Join existing channel. And we're going to be looking for Hub3. Oh, that's not there. Let's keep looking. So that's the channel we are connected to. We're going to click the three dots. We're going to go switch find the new channel you might have to refresh but we found it here hub 33 okay so now that this phone is connected to the internet via the app these two items are connected via bluetooth but the app is controlling this radio so we can we can transmit on this this or this and it will work but the only one we can take on the world is the big phone here so let's just Press hold to speak. Now, when we're using this one, it's internet only, but it will activate the walkie-talkie. M0 FXB test, test, test. You get it? So that's via internet. If we activate it using this radio, we're actually using r real radio, RF radio. Just quickly do it. R M0 FXB test test test. Playback. Hear that noise in the background? That means one of my devices has still got the APRS turned on. I need to turn that off. Well, hopefully that gives you a, a basic idea of what you you know the fun you can have with the VGC products. I'm pretty sure I can even pair this microphone here. It's Bluetooth as well. And there's another microphone that they make as well that will control all of this, just to really confuse you, which is this. Now, this device <laughs> pairs to this device, okay? Yeah? And, and then has all the functions that the walkie-talkie has, which is a real radio. This is actually a Bluetooth control device, not actually a radio. So I know it's confusing, but the main thing is Get a VGC product and have lots of fun because I, I love tinkering with these VGC devices. I just think they're great fun. Bye for now, 7-3.